was like, oh yeah, it's no big deal. We're friends. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm going to like die. He does everything he does in this book to try to help her, to try to save her, to try to do anything to help her. Some gods are like telling him that they ship him with her. And mm -hmm. then he shows up and all she can talk about is Luke. And all she cares about is Luke. And everything is about Luke. I know that he's still alive, like the way that you knew that I was still alive. And it's like, of course he's going to say, oh, it's no big deal. We're just friends. And going to act like everything he did doesn't matter. And it's not a huge deal or anything like that. Because why would he think after that, that he matters to her? Mm -hmm. He is, everything is about Luke and nothing is about him. Hopefully when season three gets greenlit, I feel like this is going to change how most people feel about Luke and what he does to her. Because I can just see, you know, like scenes happening where, you know, that like trope that they do when someone's held captive and it's like, well, I'm going to be the person to give them food, like tie them up because I care about them. So I'm not going to do it. You know, like I'm not going to tie them up too tight. I'm going to, um, you know, like lovingly place a gag in their mouth and, and shit like that. Like it's going to be that kind of thing where he's sweet talking her while holding her captive because he's, he's trying to manipulate her into like, I'm just trying to make, all of the things we wanted happen, happen. And, and, you know, like, I don't know how else we can do this. And he's going to be saying all of the things to get her on board with him. Just a good example of how when some, an older person is manipulating you and abusing you, how much mm -hmm. of a disaster your life becomes. We're not meant to sympathize with him here. We're meant to be thinking, how is she saying that after everything that just happened? How is she still like this after everything she just went through? Get so wrapped up in their stuff that you end up doing, like, I don't think that Annabeth actually cares about Luke more than she cares about Percy, but she's giving that idea off and it continues on for a while after this. And I don't think that she even realizes necessarily what she's doing. But I think she's almost like confused of like, I want to protect Luke. Also, every time she says that, she's like spitting in like Percy's face, basically. And like, doesn't seem to be, a, she's not aware enough that she's doing it to stop it. But it, it, should, it should be like shocking that, that like Percy was like not eating and not sleeping because he was so scared of the nightmares he was having about her being tortured by Luke. And they were like rushing so much to try to get to her to save her before she was killed by Luke. And then when they get there, all she can do is try to protect him. Definition of Stockholm syndrome or a trauma bond that she is protecting the guy that is trying to kill her and everyone she cares about the most and like messing up her relationships with the people that like that she does love like she was sitting there like trying to argue with thalia to not kill luke and to save luke and what are you doing and things like that too not even just with percy and it's it should be very you should be sitting there like what do you mean like what why would you why are you thinking like this why would you why would you want to save him yeah like what it, you should be seeing that and just being so freaked out of like what did he duty yeah. to like make you react this way because it's not how you should be reacting.